Welcome, welcome. My name is Rayanne, and I thought I'd do a little follow-up video to the Ulta haul that I will have posted before this video, and I will also link that down in the description. In case you somehow got here and haven't seen that video, this wouldn't make maybe a whole lot of sense. It probably will, but I just wanted to try out the makeup that I did get and uh, give a little first impression rundown of it. So with the stick foundation, the Makeup Revolution in shade F1, I did have uh, this little sample guy of the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For primer underneath it. Sometimes I feel like primers don't really do a whole lot, but I got samples. I wanted to give it a try. So that is what I have under this foundation. I did put it directly on my skin and then I buffed it out with a Real Techniques buffing brush. I can grab it and show it to you guys just for reference. So with this guy, and I probably put just a little too much on because it seemed a little streaky right around my nose, right around my mouth and chin. So then I did go over it with a dampened Real Techniques beauty sponge and kind of smooth everything out. So my first thoughts on it, I feel like it gives really nice coverage. I'm very, very red throughout here and I do have like a bunch of skin demons going on. Typically with a lot of foundations, they're just not the coverage I'm looking for. So I end up going back in with concealer just to conceal that. And I know I'm not the only one that has trouble with that. So I do recommend this foundation stick because it is a nice, nice, nice coverage. It felt really good. It felt really hydrating. I need to read a little bit more about it, give it a little more of a wear test, see how I feel then. But so far, I, I'm really happy with this. It's nice. It was not expensive at all. I don't know where else they sell it other than Ulta, but Ulta seems to be kind of everywhere, so you'll be able to find it. Also, please ignore the hair color stains on my forehead because... I figured I'd just color that too while I was at it. So next thing I wanted to talk about is the Lottie stamp liner that I got in my haul. So I haven't used the heart stamp on my face yet. I did put it on my hand and forgot I had it on my hand and thought it was a bug and it freaked me out and it was funny. But I used that for my winged liner today. Um, it's fine. It's a little stiff. I guess I'm more used to now like a more flexible felt tip, but it's not bad. Again, I'll see how it wears. Um, it's not really hot or humid today, which is strange for July. It's more mid seventies raining. So I haven't really had to worry that I'm going to get like really sweaty here. And then from my eyelids, you know, the transfer, anything like that. My allergies haven't been that bad today, so I haven't worried about it, like, running down. But, I mean, it's fine. It's probably not my first choice for liner, but it did do the job. Again, I'll see how, you know, in the future, how it wears, when my allergies are bad, my eyes are watering, how it's going to wear. So, it, it's fine. I would use again, especially since I bought it, I would use again. The next one is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk. I do have that in my lower waterline. Right when I put it on, it was um, a bit too intense because that's not the look I was going for today. So I did blend it out a little bit with my finger and it has lasted very well. I haven't gotten any irritation from it. I haven't gotten any eye redness from it. So I'm very excited about this. I'm also really excited to use this on my lid to do a different kind of look. Um, and during Halloween times, that's my times. That's when I shine. This will come really handy if I want to do like a doll look, a skull look, any kind of look, everyday look. I really see this being an awesome, versatile piece of makeup. And I'm very stoked that I got it. And I'm kind of bummed that I waited this long to get it, but I got it. So I'm happy, very happy. And then we have the Mad for Matte eyeshadow palette by e.l.f this guy. So I've used like these two colors, this, these two, the blue, that one, and like a little bit of the purple. And I have it on now. 
And as you can see, it's kind of, I don't know. I thought it was going to be a lot more pigmented than it is. It did blend out really nicely. I was happy about that. But for that blue to look that nice and then be this muted when it's actually on, like, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. It's under my lower lash line as well. And I was like, um, so the reason I got this not just because it was on clearance because mama's got student loans to pay, but because I was looking for something that had more like blues and greens in it. I do have um, a lot of like warmer colored palettes and specifically I was looking for one that would not be uh, like a shimmer heavy palette, which is a lot harder than you would think to find. So one of my favorite palettes that I have, the Violet Voss, I guess it's the My Holy Grail. Like, I don't need any other warm tones right now because these are amazing and buttery and incredible. I got this at Sephora, by the way. But I was looking for something that was matte, specifically. I was looking for something that had a little more color variety. And I thought that would be, you know, a really good choice. But... It's just, so far, I'm not, like, blown away by it. I'm not mad at it because it was $10, but I'm just like, oh, like, where's the color payoff? I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. But again, I'm going to keep trying this. I'm going to keep trying different techniques. The eye base that I have on is just the white NYX one, kind of blended out. I put a little, you know, from the Violet Voss palette, the, the one that's closest to my skin tone to set everything, just to make everything, you know, nice and even. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe it needed just a little something to cling to. So, you know, I, I will try again, definitely, to see if I can make that work. Because I do want to make it work, and the colors are really pretty. You know, per my last video, they didn't swatch well, but that's hand swatching. That's just the nature of the beast. Uh, with the brushes that I got in the haul, obviously they're amazing. I really like them. They did a great job blending. Very, very, very happy. As always, it's uh, when you find brushes that work for you, it does make a difference. So, very happy with those. Um, I guess that's it. I mean, the Stila eyeliner, I did try, I think, yesterday. And it was awesome, and I really liked it, and it wore really well during the day. I don't have any pictures or footage from that, but during my day of work, very stressful day of work in particular, not that I cried, but you, you sweat when you're stressed out, and it, it held up really nicely. It didn't flake. It was opaque. Um, handling the, the liner, I had no problem. I felt like my wing turned out really nicely. So, big fan of that. I know that if uh, if I can afford it, that's going to be something that I'd love to repurchase in the future, but we'll see. Um, maybe they'll come out with something else. Maybe there's something I don't know. Are there any eyeliners that you guys are super, super into, be it an affordable option or a luxury option? Let me know. I'm always open to trying new things when I can afford it or someone wants to lend me their credit card, which... Big thank you to the groom for that. I love you so much, and you're awesome. And y even though you sat in the parking lot for most of the time I was in Ulta, it was nice. Um, any products that are coming out that you guys are excited about or that you have tried and hated the first time and then kind of gave it a little bit of a go, and then you find out you love them or you find out that you hate them even more than you thought was humanly possible, Drop me a comment down below. Let me know if you haven't already. Please subscribe to the video. I would love to have you. Please like the video if you did like the video. Leave a comment. Like I said, I love talking to you guys. Uh, hit the bell for all notifications of my uploads. Typically, there are a lot more horror-related uploads, and I hope you guys don't mind that, but I'm not going to make two channels. These are things I love, and I want them all in one place. So I hope you understand. If you would like to follow me on Facebook, you could find me at Reanimator Reviews and on Twitter at Reanimator. And happy haul and let me know if you guys find anything good and I hope you have a good day.